Hey man, what you doing man? I'm Mark Fairley, I'm the owner of the old school barbecue boss in Failsworth. I always wanted to cook, I love barbecue food. I just had enough of working for somebody else and earning them a lot of money. So why not change a hobby into a career? So it was scary doing something like that. I was working in a fabrication company and it was just working shifts for long hours, trying to improve the businesses. Why could I not just do that for myself? When I first saw the bus down south, Leatherhead in Surrey, I was like, right, I'm having that. Show my wife and she went, that's, that's you. And then, like I say, the rest is history. So, <laughs> I own it. <laughs> Never driven anything like that before. On my own, for 200 and or 300 miles for nine hours, going 45 miles an hour. So that was a bit of a scary journey back up. I've always wanted to be a chef. I love doing barbecues in the rain. Oh, that's just a passion I have. If it's snowing, take a brolly. But the bus, it's quite spacious, so I think it's probably bigger than most kitchens, with, especially with the length, because this was a 38 seater bus. It's a tin shell and it gets very, very hot. On a 20, 25 degree normal day, it'll be 50 degrees on the bus. I want to try and bring something to the area, something which we don't see around here. Fails of his smack bang in the middle of Manchester and Oldham. Living around here, I know there's nothing for anybody. The area is kind of bland. People think it's exciting because they've never seen one before, oh, apart from only being in the movies. It's like, oh, it reminds me of Freddy Krueger. You know, it's just, it's absolutely brilliant. They were just expecting it to be a bacon butty or a frozen burger with a cheese slice on, which again, we're not, we're not doing that. So I think we brought something from their childhood from the movies to them. And I think it really, really, you know, will make people happy. The most enjoyable part, I think, is customers. I have a laugh with everyone, especially if it's their first time. And what they say about the bus, how it stops traffic, which is great. I just think it's great, it stands out. I've come here seven times for the grub. We, this is our first time at the truck. We helped Mark. Uh, with funding for the business to start it up, to, to purchase the vehicle. Mark first came to us with the idea, obviously it was a bit wacky and it was uh, one I'd not seen before, but uh, certainly something we were lucky to support. The fact that he uses fresh produce just makes it even better, I think. Absolutely delicious, lovely, can't, yeah. can't recommend it enough. Really good. This is our third visit, yeah, we do, we do return to customers now. I have to work every other day because if I'm putting pulled pork on where I'm smoking over oak and applewood doing low and slow uh, cooking, it takes all night. So where I do that, where it doesn't finish till four o'clock in the morning. So I'll get them on, I'm up all night. So then I'll go to the suppliers in the morning, get all my fresh ingredients and then everything's ready for, the, for that day along. But it's always better to get it all fresh in the morning. The bread we use on here, again, that's, they're all made for me from a local baker and everybody just loves loves that type of bread it's something different. American food in Manchester now is getting really popular but I just needed to think of something for myself and I made the Eccles cake burger, the Eccles burger. I just, I, it just popped in my head. I was like, I'm gonna try it and it, it worked, strangely. So I get one Eccles cake. They're not the same size as selling the shop. They're a hell of a lot bigger. We have a seven ounce chuck steak burger with a big slab of Monterey Jack cheese on, maple bacon, smothered in maple syrup, and then with another Eccles cake on top. And yeah, it's around 1200 calories, but if you, you know, even if you just try it, why not? I'm a foodie and I, have, I can pimp a pot noodle if I need to, but you've got to try these things just to, to see how it goes. My wife has been absolutely fantastic. She cheers me up when I'm down. And I've got my local boy as well who loves the bus. I want to be able to try and franchise this out. I want to be able to see a year down the road with this and comes a household name and where I can start selling my own sauces and merchandise. Uh, I think it'd be like so that's where I see myself in in five years' time. I always wanted to do something like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.